This tutorial will instruct you how to lock down your kiosk using the KeyAware configuration tool. The first thing you will want to do when configuring KeyAware is to set your start page. This is done by entering the URL of your choice in the start page URL text box. Next, you want to set the protocol access. A protocol is a method of communication between devices. To add a protocol, first press the protocol access button and change the access type to enable. Then, click the Add Protocol button and enter the desired protocol. Protocol entries must end with either a colon or a colon followed by two slashes. It is highly recommended that you set the protocol access list to enabled, even if you do not add any entries to the list. This ensures that all unsafe protocols will be blocked. Now you want to set your browsing access. This allows you to set what websites your users can use. First, you will want to change the access type and no restrictions to allow list. Allow list gives you the ability to list only the websites your users can visit. Block list gives you the ability to list the websites you don't want your users to visit. You can add a website by selecting Add Domain and entering the URL in the New Entry text box. You can even specify particular pages on that website with the Add Pages option. Make sure that your start page is on the allow list, otherwise you will have problems running KeyAware. After you add your domains, it is important to edit the restriction message. This can be done by clicking the restriction message box at the bottom. If you decide to allow redirect on domain slash page block, make sure that the URL is also on your allow list. By pressing the scripting access button, you can set which sites are allowed or not allowed to use scripting. Using the scripting access list vastly improves security because it limits which domains and pages can execute keyware commands. To set a website, first change the access type to no restrictions to allow scripting. To add a website, press add domain and enter the URL in the entry box. Adding pages to a domain will let you block scripting on the specific pages of the website. Configuration settings can be saved in an XML file that makes it easy to copy the configuration to multiple installations. To use an XML file, first check the Use XML Configuration checkbox. Then type the URL of the XML file in the XML URL text box area. An important security recommendation is to change the password. To do this, first enter the default password 3523 in the current password text box. Then Enter your new password below. To save your new password, go to File and press Save to Local Settings. KeyAware offers two exit modes. The first is Allow Mouse Exit. This means that KeyAware will close if you click all four corners of the screen starting with the top left. Allow Alt F4 Exit means that KeyAware will close if you press Alt F4. There is also an option for both. The keypad shutdown button area lets you set what the shutdown button will do. The default setting is shut down with password. This means Keyware will ask you to enter your password before closing. Another option is the shutdown without password. This means Keyware will close whenever the shutdown button is pressed. There are also options for Keyware to log you off with or without a passcode or to disable the shutdown button completely. You can schedule KeyAware to shut down or restart by pressing the Schedule Shutdown Restart button. Shutdown mode gives you the ability to restart KeyAware, reboot the kiosk, or shut down the kiosk. To set the schedule, you can either choose Use Daily Schedule, which allows you to set the times and days you want KeyAware to shut down, or you can use the Interval Schedule which will make KeyAware shut down in the set time intervals. To save your settings, press OK. Auto logon settings are needed if you want to start KeyAware on boot. The username and password requested is the username and password you would use to log into Windows. Domain is the name of the computer you are logging into. The system settings allow you to set KeyAware to start on boot and allow the display to sleep. However, starting on boot is not recommended. You can also set the times you want the display to turn on and off by pressing the Display Schedule button.